the first of its kind in South Africa, and this one is on its way to Botswana. Demand for salt harvesters is also set to increase as the world is moving towards green energy and battery production. Salt, technically, it is salt harvesting. Yeah. However, it's it's not necessarily table salts that we are looking after. Um, these machines are industrial salt machines. Um, so in your PVC industry, your glass industry, your food industries, not for eating, for preparation, for uh, fertilizer on, on the plants. Um, and then of course lithium ion batteries, the lithium content, um, lithium's at an all time high, $17,000 a tonne. Uh, if we get 1% concentration out of this machine, it pays for itself in a day. This is also the first machine where we employ complete digitization of all the instrumentation on board. Industry 4.0 where we can basically communicate with the machine from our headquarters here in Port Elizabeth. Um, dial into the machine, have a look what's wrong with the machine. If anything, for some reason there's a breakdown, we can diagnose it. We can even let the client know that, listen, one of your machines are starting to fail and they can act before it actually does fail. Botswana Soda Ash is the new owner of this machine. This is their fourth project with ROVD. And this is the actually the backbone of our production. That's where we get our raw material. That's we actually crushed the salt that you see in most of um, northern African countries. And our biggest consumer on, on this salt is um, South Africa, being a Sasol polymers where we supply the raw salt for their chemicals. And the other salt goes into the uh, small markets in, in Malawi, Zimbabwe, um, including DRC. The company is also trying to break into the Australian market. Lerato Fekisi, SABC News, Kabeha.